closest pair of points in a plane using divide and conquer problem statement we are given an array of n points in the plane and the problem is to find the closest pair of points in the array so basically we have to find two points such that the distance between those two is minimum among any pair of points possible in the plane we'll need the distance formula written down here to find the distance between two points here px and pi py the are the x and y coordinates of point p and qx and qy are the x and y coordinates of point q let's have a look at the algorithm as an input we have an array of n points the output will be the smallest distance between two points in the given array let's consider this example which has 18 points 0 to 17 now first of all we need to sort all the points in the array by their x coordinate So as you can see if we start from the left elements in P will be 13 11 12 0 14 and so on The first step says find the middle point in the sorted array Since n is 18 in the given example the middle most point is P of n by 2 which is P of 9 that is point 17 The second step says divide the array into halves First having points from P0 to Pn by 2 and the other having the remaining points as you can see we have split the array in two subarrays pl and pr with 17 being the point of split and belonging to pl on this graph this divide step would look something like this and here although not very clear from the line but 17 belongs to the left side of the line step 3 this is a recursive step So we need to continuously divide into two halves to find the smallest distance individually in the both subarrays. Let DL be the smallest distance between the pair of points in the subarray PL and DR be the smallest distance in PR. So basically, we found the distance between closest pair of points in both halves separately as depicted in this diagram. We take the minimum distance D as the minimum of DL and DR. We'll be assuming for this example that DL is less than DR. So D takes the value DL. You may have noticed, although we have found the closest pair of points in both halves, what about the points having one point on either side? That is, we haven't calculated the distance between the points when one belongs to the left half and other belongs to the right one. For example, points one and two, points seventeen and fifteen, etc. For that, we have a step four. Consider the vertical line passing through the midpoint P of n by two. find all the points whose x coordinate is closer than d to this line on either side we need to find only the distances between these points because distances between any other points other than those in this 2d strip would be greater than d hence we add the points in the 2d strip to a new array strip in this example only the points 17 9 2 15 and 3 belong to this array strip step 5 we sort this new array strip according to the y coordinates of the points so the new elements would be in the order top to bottom that is 2 3 15 17 9 this sorting is done in big o of n log n now comes the important part it may seem that the finding the distance between the closest pair of points in the strip would take big o of n square in worst case scenario but it isn't so There is an optimization possible here. We need not consider each point in the strip with all the remaining points in the strip. Instead, we will consider only those points which are less than d distance from that point. For that, let us consider a 2d by d rectangle divided into eight squares, each of side d by 2, such that no square is shared between two halves. That is, a square either belongs completely to the left or completely to the right of the line. Now. No two points can belong to the same d by 2 square because the maximum distance between two points on the same square can be d by root 2, which is the length of the diagonal. And we already know that the minimum distance between two points in the same half is d, and d by root 2, which is less than d, is not possible. So, one point belongs to one square at a max, and hence the 2 d by d rectangle can have at most eight points, and any point on the strip needs to be con compared to only seven other points if we try comparing a point to the points outside lying outside this rectangle 
then they will surely have a distance greater than d. Hence, instead, each point being compared to every other point in the strip, we are comparing it only to the other seven points at max. Hence, making the complexity big O of 7n for n points in the strip, which is equivalent to big O of n. I hope you've got the basic idea that every point doesn't need to be compared to the rest of the points of the strip, but only to the points which may have a distance less than d between them. d dash is the smallest distance between the pair of points in the strip. In this example, if 15 and 17 were the closest pair of points, then d dash will be the distance between 15 and 17. Hence, the distance between the closest pair of points in the plane is the minimum of d and d dash. Let's try understanding the code. Note that even though all the functions are listed and explained here, you can find the entire working code on our article on closest pair of points. The link is given in the description below. Let's start from the main function on the next slide and proceed step by step. We are initially given with the following points. We first call the function closest and send the list of points p and the number of points n as the parameter. Now we sort all points according to their x coordinates. Closest util function is now called. If the number of points is less than 4, we simply apply brute force to find the closest pair of points. Let's look at the brute force function on the previous slide. Basically, it's an n square solution where the distance between every pair of points is calculated and the minimum distance is stored in the variable min. Back to the closest util function. Middle point is selected, which is basically the one with the middlemost x coordinate. Closest util function is recursive, now recursively called on the left and right half. D stores the lowest of the minimum distances of the two halves. Now, the middle strip, strip is created with points only at distances less than D on either side. Now, the overall minimum distance is the minimum of the distance D calculated earlier and the minimum distance found through strip. Let's have a look at the strip closest function. Firstly, the points in the strip are sorted by their y-coordinates. You can also have a look at the compare functions on the side. They are simple enough to understand by yourself. Now, by the logic explained earlier, not every pair is considered, but only those at a distance less than the minimum distance so far. Variable min keeps storing the minimum distance between the pair of points, and with the returning of the minimum value, the code ends, and as a result, we successfully obtained the distance between the closest pair of points. Time complexity. Let t n denote the time complexity of the algorithm. Sorting is done in big O of n log n. Even though we've used quick sort in our case, which may have a complexity big O of n square in the worst case, but that can be reduced to big O of n log n using not sort. The dividing step divides the plane into two parts recursively. So that will be represented by 2t of n by 2. We find the strip is lean in linear time. Again, the sorting is done in big O of n log n, and the closest pair in the strip is found in big O of n already explained how. So, Tn can be represented as the sum of the following terms. This is equivalent to T of n into log n into log n, thus giving us the complexity big O of n log square n. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave us your comments.